conversation with Aaron French, the owner and chef at the Lost Kitchen in Freedom, which is one of the most acclaimed restaurants, not just in Maine, but in the entire country. Aaron French recently returned from a national tour promoting a new cookbook, her second, called Big Heart, Little Stove. The success of the Lost Kitchen, which will celebrate its 10th anniversary on the 4th of July, has opened a lot of doors for her, but not without some costs. Because you're so well known now, have you found that your friends are reluctant to invite you over because they say, oh my heavens, I couldn't possibly just like give Aaron some pretzels and a, a nice tea. That wouldn't be enough. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I mean, um, no one invites me over anymore. And that is kind of the tragedy of it. But the unfortunate thing is that if they only knew that I really just love a cheeseburger and you know a bag of chips would be like my dream come true for an evening. <laughs> what would surprise people about the way you cook at home for yourself and your family? I mean, you know, I'm a pretty good cook at home when I'm making food for my family. I'm not terrible in that department. I am terrible, however, if it's while well, the restaurant's running and I'm responsible for feeding myself. You will find me at 12.30 in the morning having a microwave macaroni and cheese in bed. And <laughs> I have no shame in that at all. So, you know, maybe don't have the best diet myself. Um, but that's okay. The Lost Kitchen now has a schedule that's almost unheard of in the restaurant business. It serves dinner two nights a week from the spring into the fall. The meal has numerous courses and typically lasts about five hours. It seems to me as though the workload hasn't necessarily diminished that much. On the two days that you're serving, you're working 17 hours a day? Mm -hmm. Easily. And the days leading up to the days you're serving uh, are completely full days as you prep everything. Yes. This is what it takes to pull off a dinner that is you know, this heartfelt and has this many details into it. It takes a week's worth of preparation to pull off two dinners. And there probably is a reason that not everyone else does it because there is a bit that's slightly crazy to it, but it's also what makes this place magical. Even though the restaurant already put tremendous demands on her time, Erin French decided to take on another project, a TV show on the Magnolia the Network about the Lost Kitchen. The only way to get a seat at the restaurant is by mailing us a postcard. It's a lottery, and everyone has the same fair chance. The show really gave us this opportunity to really deeply give this inside look of what it feels like to be here and what a week of being here you know, behind the scenes feels like as well. So you know, we, we feel so honored to be able to, to share that story through you know, through this, through video. I mean, it's really, really a special opportunity. The Lost Kitchen has become something that is beyond my wildest dreams and bigger than I ever expected. Something else that you've taken on, lodging here at the Lost Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes, so in COVID, I mean, we just were pivoting left and right and we opened a couple of cabins that we turned into private dining cabins and I knew at some point we'd get through the pandemic and we turn them into sleeping cabins now. So now we have overnight accommodations, we have breakfast service. So we're expanding you know, in all these little ways, but we're continuing to stay true in who we are and all of these micro ways that we're growing. Why do you think you keep working so hard? <laughs> um, probably because I'm a Mainer and I don't know any other way than you know, just like work hard and go for it. And my grandmother was a hard worker and my mother's a hard worker and my father was a hard worker and everyone, everyone before me. So I think it was really instilled in me at a young age of really growing up in a super Maine family that this is just the way you do things. And I don't know any other way now. You could take your foot off the gas though, to some degree. Okay, that's fair, <laughs> but you know we, we do have an ongoing joke around the house that um, my my foot is on the pedal. I'm at 90 miles an hour all the time, and my husband Michael is constantly just like pumping the brakes a little bit in the side seat. So you know he's trying to keep up, and I'm trying to you know keep it moving, and he's patiently slowing me down <laughs> once in a while. So the Lost Kitchen has been around for a decade. Look forward 10 years into the future. What do you see yourself doing? My hope is that I am doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And I've, I've always told everyone here, all the staff, I said, let's just keep doing this as long as we keep loving it. I don't wanna change it. I, w I wanna keep showing up and having these dinners every week because it is the greatest joy to be able to open this space and to bring people in 
and to make these meals. So my only hope is that I'm still loving this in 10 years from now. I hope my knees are still loving this in 10 years from now and that we're still doing exactly this with you know as much love as we have for it. Erin French did a national book tour this fall for her new cookbook, Big Heart Little Stove. She went around the country. She had just one appearance in Maine. It was at the State Theater in Portland and it sold out something like 16, 1700 people just to hear the author of a cookbook and the owner of a restaurant. In addition, that cookbook sold more than 5,000 copies this year at Print, a bookstore in Portland. It was its number one best-selling book of the entire year. If you missed the first part of our conversation with Aaron French, which aired last night here on 207, you can find it in the 207 section of our New Center Maine website or app.